Bates Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ENTK, EnviroTech. I um, want to do this one because it's kind of interesting chart. Started to get some uh, requests on it, and then pulling it up, I can see uh, why. Um, nice little bounce going on here, uh, and uh, it's been getting some good volume. Um, one thing to note is it's above a dollar, so sure, maybe 142,000 shares doesn't uh, seem like a lot, uh, but when you factor in that the, all these shares are going uh, for over a dollar, uh, you know that that's pretty good dollar volume there. You know, over $150,000, uh, which is good for the these uh, small small stocks like this. So the first thing to note uh, with this is you can see that during this downwards move here. Uh, not too much volume. Sure, it did have a few big days, um, but it's just been a, a pretty mild pullback or reversal, whatever you want to call it, in terms of volume. It's not like there's been massive uh, selling or anything like that. And now you can see that with the bounce here, uh, sure, not a ton of volume, but at the same time, it is above average compared to uh, the majority of the days when you look back over this time period here. So um, above average on the bounce, that's what you want to see. Um, the other thing to note is, and probably one of the uh, key parts of the chart right now, at least in my opinion, is if you look right here at this purple line, which is the 50-day simple moving average, uh, you will see that yesterday the price not only got above it, but managed to close, and today even closed above it. So uh, the more the price closes above uh, this line here, that's just going to show them uh, more and more true strength that the chart actually has. Because a 50-day simple moving average, it is a very important uh, moving average. Lots of chartists and traders will have it on their uh, charts. So it does have that um, self-fulfilling prophecy kind of effect with it. So it's definitely worth uh, watching out for and paying attention to. So like I said, the more closes you get above this level, uh, the more confidence you can have in the amount of strength uh, that's behind uh, this current move right now. The other thing that's nice is you're starting to get the 10-day uh, simple moving average to curl up, which is always a big deal. Uh, you know, all trends have to start from the short terms. So seeing that the short-term trend is starting to go bullish here is a positive sign. And then the other thing in regards to the moving averages is simply down here. It was nice to see that the price found support right at the always crucial 200-day simple moving average and is bouncing off from that. So um, in terms of moving averages, lots of good things going on. Uh, with the way the price has been reacting around those levels. Now in terms of supports, or excuse me, in terms of resistances, because these are all going to be support levels now. So we have the 50-day as a support, we have the 10-day curling up here now as a support, and then obviously the 200-day down here is going to be, uh, as always, a very crucial support. But now hopping to the other side of the coin and looking at some resistance levels. The key resistance level right now, uh, which uh, the price bounced off of yesterday is going to be this dollar fifty mark, and I'll explain why that's uh, a, a pretty important resistance level. So let me first just change this uh, to red to for resistance. But if you look here, we had a, a previous high. So at one time the chart looked like that. Dollar fifty was the resistance. Got above it, and then you know the chart made a nice move. Then we came down here bounced off it. So right there it proved to be a support. Right here, once again, bounced right off it, proved to be a good support. Right here, price came down, was sitting on top of it, sitting on top of it, sitting, you know, still closing above it or at it, right there. And then when we finally fell below it, so this whole portion here, it just showed how a dollar fifty put up such a strong fight as a support. Here it finally fell and that's where it became resistance. And now we are once here we are once again. It came up and bounced off as uh, resistance. So it went from resistance here to a long stint and powerful stint as a support. But unfortunately, once that support falls, it'll become a resistance again. And that's what we saw right here. And that's what we'll be looking for uh, next week. A dollar fifty is really the the key level that you want to get through. And then the next resistance really isn't up until this two dollar level. Um, and you know that's just kind of me estimating a little bit. But if you put this resistance line up here, you know, it's got some kind of right in the middle of all this price congestion here. Uh, but I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's just first concentrate on a dollar fifteen, seeing how the price does around it next week. So um, overall, very nice bounce going on here. Uh, and next week will be more of 
seeing how strong it is. And uh, one last time, that will be easily judged based on how it reacts around all these moving averages on any sort of pullback. And we'll see how much strength it has left in it. And that'll be easily measured by how it reacts when it gets up here around $1.50. If there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please shoot me a message. I'd also like to note to please check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, uh, which has got tips and tricks in it on how to use charts to profit in the markets. It's been getting good reviews. And then also with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, educational pieces, trade ideas, all sorts of things from big boards all the way down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, no strings attached. It's all free, so it's worth at least checking out. One last time, this was ENTK. Thanks for listening, and have a good weekend.